Alrighty guys, Scammers is for here and today I as you've seen from the title of this video, we are making a raid farm. Now the reason you'd want to make a raid farm is due to the fact that it experience and puts out a lot of experience, a lot of emeralds, a lot of enchantment books, and a lot of good stuff actually. Uh totems on dying, stuff like that. This is I'm on bedrock edition, I'm sure this is more on Java edition, but I'm not hundred percent sure on that. But I know for a fact it works on bedrock edition. Bedrock edition is uh, Xbox One, Series X, PS4, PS5, uh, Nintendo Switch, Wii U, I mean just about everything console wise, phone, and it's also on computer as well. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's get into this. So first off, what you want to do is you want to find yourself one of these things right here. The, uh, what's this place called? The Outpost? The Pill Droppers, yes. What you want to do is you want to find yourself one of these. I meant to get rid of this chest, but I didn't. So what you want to do is take these little glass planes and go right here on these little second pieces. Because for some reason, on better condition, mobs can spawn inside of these little things right here. Like so. And yeah, let's go ahead and place these like this. I have tested this, so just so you know, before we get on this whole video through, because I know you guys know I do not like testing stuff really, normally. But I do want to test this because I've never worked with this before. So, yeah, I actually like the way this worked. It works pretty good. But, uh, just do just like I am now. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, I'm going to get myself out. I'll see you in a sec. All right, your finished product should look something like this. Glass plane in every block. For some reason, though, mobs can spawn inside of a block. So, what we're going to do is we're going to walk 30 blocks in either direction. Go up 30 blocks in any direction. Up, down, all around, however you want to go. I'm going to go in this direction, 30 blocks, and I'll see y'all in just a second. I, uh, actually, it would be a good idea to do it straight from here so you can actually look in here and see if he spawns. But they only have one spawn location at these places, so just a little thing to note. Alright, I'm 30 blocks out, and one has already spawned! Ha! Alright, that is actually pretty perfect. So, now let's just run over here. I'm going to, now I'm not going to place my bed just yet. So, as you see, you spawn on a block right there. You spawn on these blocks right here. He always spawns on the, I forgot, like the northeastern side of the map on me. Wait one second. Alright, I had to wait for another one spawn. So what you want is an empty locator map, or just locator map in general. Come right here, here, and at the southeast, that's what it is, southeast, not northeast. Uh, the southeast block is what they spawn on. So, it'd be this block right here. This block they're going to spawn on. So, yeah. you want If you want, you can clear out these guys right here. I'm going to break this. And, yeah. So, now they're spawn on this block right here. So, what you want to do is now is block off all the other blocks. I'm going to collect all my glass real quick and then I'll be right back. I'm gonna, what you want to do is if you want to collect all your glass, just mark the glass to block off. But I'm going to collect all my glass. I'll be ready. All right, so once you get your block found, which mine is right here, I want to place, replace my obsidian because I have something planned for this whole building. Um, if you do not uh, want to keep, if you want to keep your building, you can just mine these three blocks right here. If you want to, just skip ahead. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn this entire building down because it makes life a whole lot easier if you do that, um, which that's what I would hi highly advise you to do. But, yeah, I'm going to burn this place down, and I'll see you in just a second. All right, I am done. So here, I have the whole tower is done. I burn it down, sort of, and I mine most of it as well. You can do whichever one you will please. But now, what you need to do is get a shovel ready and get a buttload of dirt and uh, have some water nearby. Make an infinite water source or whatever you want to do. And um, if you want to, you can check your spawn again. Mine, actually, somebody spawned up there when I was not 30 blocks away. So, yeah. That was great, but uh, you want 30 blocks away, make sure to go spawn again, just to make sure your spot's right. If it's not right, just put some blocks around it, and then wait for them to spawn again, and then knock out the blocks as you know it's not right until you get down to the block you need. Anyway, we're going to be digging out a 19 by 19 area right here, and I want this to be, let's see, I want to have a 4 by 4 hole right here, right by this, so you're going to have water flowing right at this hole, and then have a automatic trident killer, I guess, I think you call it, right here, just make it real quick, you're going to need 8 observers and 4 pistons for this, 
and a lever to start off. But anyway, when we get to that, is when we get to that. But first off, let's get into building the big old area. Alright, so yeah, we done and did all that area, so this is what you should look like now. There should not be no water spots. There is, just try to get the, uh, just try to get them out by placing water around the whole edges. All the water needs to flow right to the middle. And yeah, so now what you want to do is go up there and place four track doors around that. And go up. I went from there 30 blocks up and uh, build a little platform. I'll show you that in just a second though. So now we need to go snatch us a villager. So, yeah, let's go grab one. Alright, so, I fell down here where the pillagers go. Once you get your villager all the way up there, you'll need a, uh, I didn't mean to fall down here. Thankfully, there's water down here, I would have died. But, uh, once you get your villager carted all the way up there, I tried doing it with the boat, but I remember that my cart would be a lot easier. Once you get him carted all the way up there, make sure he has a bed, and make sure that he has a workbench that makes it so it's, the game thinks it's a villager. I mean a village, so they'll spawn a raid when you have that on. So yeah, he has a little thing, and that makes sure there's no like regular like blocks sitting off or so anybody can spawn. So I got mine take all of this down, and then we're gonna build a platform on top of this little box. So let me mine all this down, and I will be right back. All right, so I have found the central block, so of the top spot. So what you wanna do is put mine. I mean, build out seven blocks in each direction from the central block. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then do a little bit of this for all the way back. We want to add one extra thing, and that is going to make a small a spawn. So you want to delete that if you do something like that. But yeah, just build out seven blocks. That's all you have to do on every side. Not that hard to do. We'll need a lot of blocks though, that's one thing I forgot to grab actually. But uh, besides that, should be pretty easy. Let's see, that is in the center of that, so go back over here. Drop all of you. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm going to skip on this part because I don't think y'all guys really want to see this. So, yeah, I'll see y'all in just. <gasps> no! Oh my god! Okay then. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't start recording. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Yeah. Alright, so once you get done with all that, you should be able to place the bucket of water right in the middle. And it should flow all the way around, which it does. So, yeah. So I'm just going to leave this right here. Now, you need to just fall down or throw a light to glide down here to the bottom. And now it should be almost complete. The last thing you need to do is make a trident killer. So I am using the one that I think JC Plays uses. So that's what I'm going to be using as well, which requires eight observers, one lever, and yeah, and then you need a collection system. I'm going to use four hoppers. You can use a hopper and a minecart um, with some rails, but I'm going to use hoppers because I had hoppers stored over. So I'm just going to use those. Might as well. And then you're gonna need some chests. That's basically it, and some blocks. Just a little bit of blocks, just to block off the water. And let's just kill these guys. And the raid will not trigger way down here at the bottom. That is the uh, thing about this. The trade will not trigger way down here. 
you have to be up there to trigger for the trigger. So just a little thing. I did that on purpose because, I mean, you just never know when you well, yeah, you just never know. In here, um, the reason you want to have it so it triggers down at the higher level and not at the lower level is due to the fact that if you have a higher omen effect and you trigger a bigger and better raid. That's why I did it that way. Not because whatever I said, that's the reason. But um, yeah, if you want to change it up, just lower your platform so every time you bat omen, it will trigger a raid. Uh, but if you want to get like a higher omen effect so you get more and more uh, drops from the raid, well, then you want it to trigger down at the bottom. I mean, you don't want it to trigger at the bottom, you want to trigger at the top. Just one little thing to add in. But anyway, let's get back to the video. Really, it's really. But it blocks off like this. Do, do, do. Just four all around in each, uh, four around in each way of direction. Do, 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 boom, there you go. So you don't want it two blocks down as well. That is the other thing about it. You don't want it. So the big guys won't, they so they'll stay down here. If you don't do that, they'll just be able to jump right out. Actually, they won't be able to go in the hole. And so the other guys won't jump out, the regular guys. So you're going to want those two locks down. Doop. I advise you to do this first because it helps out if you have bad memory like myself. And now just mind all this around. Then I'm going to do it one more time just to be safe. I mean, the deeper you have it, it really don't matter too much. It's just for the time you have to get to get your items when you need to collect them for the collections and stuff. Just to let you know. But let's do this. Put. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Do you like this? Boop, 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 boop. Then you will see so you still open it up with the hopper. Then you just want the items to get fed in through like this. Boom, there you go. So this is the bottom. Now what you want is to place a piston here, piston here, piston here, and a piston here. Then what you want to do is have a observer going to this one and have the arrow pointing at the wall. Not like I did. Easiest way to do this is to do this. Do one like this. Like this. And then go to the wall again. This, this, boom, so now it should be done, just take a lever, put it on top of any one of the pistons that you want, turn it on, and then turn it back off, and it should move around like this. What you want to do now is a trident, and I actually forgot to bring my trident, but uh, just bring you a trident, come here, trident, thank you, uh, trident, where do I put my trident? Oh, there it is. I didn't see it. So, um, tridents do not take durability when they're moving around, so it can, it can be any durability that you want, so you don't have to worry about the durability going away. Um, so it would be any level of durability. Actually, I'd go for a lower level one. I mean, a lower durability one, so you won't really lose out on your thing, but it's totally up to you, whichever one you have laying around or whatever. But now, just take your trident, and throw it onto any pistol that you're choosing. And then it'll see as it pushes the thing around, as the guys fall in, it'll kill them, and boom. And while they're getting killed, if you want, you can hold your eluding three sword, loot two or whatever, and you'll get more drops. That's what a lot of people do, and that's what I like doing as well when I use these types of farms. Well, any farm actually that involves killing something. A eluding three sword is something very nice. So, now what I'm gonna do is step back, Wait for some guy to go to sleep. Wait for guys to spawn. Uh, actually, I have bad omen already, so I'm gonna fly up to the top, trigger it. Um, again, you can just build a ladder going up there. But since I have a lighter, I'm just gonna fly up there. If you don't have a lighter yet, you can just build a little like ladder to go up there. A soul sand elevator. There's a lot of things you can do to get up here very quickly. And I'm gonna show you how it works and all that. So let's see it in action. So it should trigger right now. Just triggered, as you see. So, just fly around right out of here. And the guy should eventually spawn. You can actually fall down. You don't need to stay up here. I just stay up here for demonstration sakes. Uh, the bar bar will go away down here, but uh, they'll still fall down. See? Whee! They fall down. They fall into that little trap down there. 
and then eventually they all die. As you see, they're already dying. And then the next set of evokers, no, next set of pillagers, there they come. The only problem is with the big guys, the big guys will fall off and get over here on the edges. But the only thing is, they it's not a big problem because they will just walk right in because they're going after the village. So the village is right there in the central point. That's why you need the village in the central point. And they'll fall and go right back into the water. I test this without water, and you just have to put like a lot of hopper mine carts. If you don't want to use water, you can do that. I like this a lot better if you want to just kill them for fall damage. But again, the big guys have a lot of health, so they are very hard to kill. So this is just way better, in my opinion. And yeah, sometimes the tribe does not like killing people, kill them, but eventually it will kill them. And also, another little thing is if you want to, you build your little like slab right there and stand down there while it is uh, while they're falling, and it will uh, collect XP too. So you have a lot of XP. A lot of everything so you'll actually be doing pretty good in that regard but uh that's all my loading loot the resort here comes a big guy see he fell right on the edge but he went right back in even though he's targeting me uh he will go into the hole eventually there you go yeah but hold, hold a loading three sword you'll get a lot more loot it's really worth it it's a lot worth doing that let's see there's some guys got a lot of uh Got a lot of stuff. Again, the trident sometimes does not like killing them, but eventually we'll hit them. The big guy is very hard to kill with the trident. Don't know why they do not like dying, but uh, eventually it will kill them. But it just takes a little bit longer. If you put more tridents in there, it will kill them faster. But I only have one, so the more tridents will do more damage. I'm just going to do one for my sake right now. And if I find a uh, drown, then I'll get on another one. But yeah, it does a pretty well job. It actually does. These guys have like 80 health though, that's why it takes so long to kill them. Come on, can you die already, please. But uh, this is a great way to get saddles, emeralds, crossbows, arrows, uh, ban the little banners. If you like the little banners, like I do, I love the banners. I mean, it's so easy to get a lot of good stuff. So, as yeah, you see, he just died, and then the other guy died, and now the next part of the race is fine. Also, you get totems of dying. Um, of course, you can build up your omen effect, you get, you'll get even more. But I had a level one omen, so it's not going to give me a lot of totems of dying. But just see the next guy's fall. Actually, like this. this is a uh, form I love. I uh, took me like three hours to build this and create. Oh, you get witches too. I forgot about that. You will get witches, so you'll get potions potentially, you'll get redstone potentially, you'll get gunpowder potentially, bottles, all sorts of stuff. I mean, this farm has a lot of uses. I'll show you everything that's in there at the end, but this farm has a lot of uses, a lot of good things about it. And the last guy, which is a witch, she don't want to die for some reason. My, why you don't want to die? And you poison it. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Boom. Done. And now we should have got a potion right there, actually. Uh, the health potion. That's the other good thing. You will get health potions. If you want to, you can put water down there and you can actually get water breathing potions as well. But I just really don't feel like doing all that because I'm not after potions. I'm not. I'm after emeralds and XP mainly is what I'm using it for. Here comes two of them this time, as you see. Two big guys and an invoker right there. And he is. I am. Very uh, low on health, so I'm going to stay back a little bit. Uh, the Vex is not a problem for the Villager, because they're so far up there, the Villager cannot get hit by the Vexes. Another good thing about the way this farm set up, <laughs> and there's that guy just walking around on top. <laughs> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let this raid continue through, and then I'll be back with you guys when uh, the raid's over. Hey, it's me again. Uh, just showing this little clip due to the fact of that you need to fill up all the blocks behind your pistons and stuff, or the Ravagers will glitch through and go to the end of the spaces. It's only the Ravagers, but just a little information. And, yeah. Alright, guys. So, yeah. Um, we got here in the village. The raid got complete. I must say one thing, though. I would highly advise getting more than one trident. Because for some reason, one trident will not cut it with this farm. I have no clue why. But, using one trident Hey, it's me again. Uh, it will cut it. It just takes a long longer time after a lot more testing. It does just take a little bit longer. It will cut it. It just takes a lot longer to do. But anyway, back to the view. In the farm, they, for some reason, they will not want to work. But uh, let's go check out our loot we got real quick. This produces pretty good. I want to hold my sword for the first couple minutes. So let's go see. Uh, it is very loud as well. But yeah, we have a stack and a half of emeralds. We got Oh my god, I'm turning it. Hold on. That's the one good thing about having to switch on. And be sure to get your trident out when you get done, because I have had it where it glitches and the trident will uh, despawn. So get your trident every time you go in this form. But we got a lot of good stuff. Observer, that had the break. 
Blast Protection, Curse of Binding Punch, Efficiency 4. I mean, look at all this good stuff. I mean, a lot of totems left dying. Five to be exact. Uh, two saddles, because one got stuck in... I had a hole beside my... Uh, where I built the uh, Trident Killer, and one of the guys glitched through somehow. It's got bottles, got an Omen Banner, got a lot of good stuff, actually. About a full chest off after just one raid. So, it will fill your chest pretty easily, but if you just don't want the iron armor or stuff like that, just have you like a little smelter beside it and just smell away stuff. Guy had 15 levels at the beginning of this video, and now I'm at 23, so it gave pretty decent, actually. I mean, let's know this is a very nice farm to have. I'm going to be using the heck out of it. But, um, yeah, that was it for you guys. If you guys had liked this video, give this video a like, subscribe, hit that bell, and uh, comment down below any other farm that you can think of that you want me to try to build. And, um, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!